What's going on guys? John Alder from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna look at menu buttons with TTK Bootstrap, Kinter, and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at menu buttons with TTK Bootstrap. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, 150 pages with all the Kinter and TTK attributes. You can grab a totally free PDF copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address and I'll shoot that right out to you. And while you're there, it is my birthday today, February 14th, Valentine's Day. It's my birthday. And so as a special gift for my birthday for all you guys, I want to give you a massive $130 off membership just for today and tomorrow only. Very, very quiet two-day sale. I'm just going to announce it right here and nowhere else. If you see this video, you get $130 off tkinter membership. Just use coupon code BIRTHDAY. So if you head over to tkinter.com, scroll down to the order form page. It's normally $149. But if you click have coupon code, type in BIRTHDAY, click apply. Boom, $130 off. You pay just $19 for all of my Kinter courses. You get all my future courses. You get the cool new chat GPT course I just released last week or two weeks ago, whenever that was. And you get access to the Facebook group, all the things for just 19 bucks. So take advantage of that while you can. So, all right, in this video, like I said, we're going to look at the... All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the menu button. And these are the menu buttons. So uh, we've got, you know, I've got this danger colored one. And we can change the color. I click primary, it changes the primary, secondary, danger, info. We can do outlines. That looks pretty cool. Outline secondary, ooh, outline danger. And you can see the little text updates every time I click something. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. Let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other TTK bootstrap videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got some starter code we've always got. I'm calling it menu underscore button dot pi. And we're using the superhero theme for TTK bootstrap. We've imported the library right there. And here we go. So how do we build these things? Well, they're a little complicated, but not too bad. So I'm just going to create a variable. I'm going to call it my underscore menu. And this is going to be a TB dot menu button. And it's TB because I've imported TTK bootstrap as TB. And we want to put this guy in root. Let's give it a boot style of like warning. I think that's orange, maybe, I don't know, whatever. And then let's give it some text and let's just have it say things. I don't know. This is the text that's going to appear before you click on anything. So before it's opened or clicked on, that's the text that'll show up. So things, <laughs> right? Whatever. So then let's my underscore menu dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like 20, really push it down the screen. So let's save this and run it just to see if that worked. Should have. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run Python menu underscore button. And when we do, we get things. When we click on it, nothing happens because we haven't told it to do anything yet. So, okay, that looks good. Head back over here. And I'm gonna push this down a little bit, give it a 50 instead of a 20. Okay, so we've got this guy, but now there's nothing inside of it. Now to put things inside of our menu button, we need to create basically a little menu inside of our menu button. So let's create basic menu. And call this anything you want, but I'm going to call it inside underscore menu because, you know, if we called it menu, is it the menu button? Is it the menu? It's complicated. So I'm just going to call it inside menu because it's inside of our menu button. But, you know, call it anything you want. So this is going to be a TB dot menu. And then we need to pass in my underscore menu, which is just what we named our menu button up here, right? This whole thing. So, okay, that looks good. Now we can add items to our inside menu, right? So first, these are supposed to have variables assigned to them. I don't use the variable because I just find uh, you don't need to. We have to add a label. We can use the label as the variable. But if you need to use a variable, you call the same thing you want. I'm going to call it item underscore variable because, you know, it's an item we're adding to the menu. And then we just give this a string var, right? This is just a, a kinter string var variable. Thing, right? You're probably familiar with those. So now we need to create a list of items that we want to put in our menu and then sort of loop through that list and add them to our menu. So let's do that with a uh, for loop. So let's go for X, call it anything you want in. And now let's just create our Python list of things we want. So I want to put different colors in there, different boot styles. So when we click on it, we can change it. So uh, we'll start out with adding primary. We could do secondary something like that. We can do danger. That's the red color. We could do info. 
You can also change these to be outline instead of solid. So let's go outline primary and outline secondary. I'll just do a few of these because it's pretty boring. So <laughs> outline, uh, what, say danger maybe? And what, outline info? That's good enough. So we need a colon at the end of this because we're looping, right? This is a for loop. There we go. Now, what are we doing as we loop? Well, we're adding things to our inside underscore menu. And what are we doing? We're adding actually a radio button. Right, you can add a check button, but that gets a little goofy. We want a radio button because we only want to select one thing at a time. So, all right, add a radio button. And then we're giving them a label of X, which is what each of these will are, right? And now if you want to give the variable, you can add the variable of our item underscore var. I never really use that, but if you wanted to, you could, and that would be how you do it. So, okay, that looks good. So the last step, we need to sort of associate the menu with the menu button. So let's associate the inside menu with the menu button. So to do that, we just call my underscore menu, which is the name of our, you know, menu button. And then inside of here, we're going to assign the menu to it. And what menu are we going to assign? We're going to inside our inside underscore menu. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. We ran through that pretty quickly. So Python menu button dot pi. And now when we click on this, boom, we see each of these things. Very cool. But when we click on them, nothing happens. So how do we get it? Well, it does put a little checkbox next to it. So that's fun. So how do we get it to where, you know, when we click on a thing, it does something? Well, that's a little tricky, but it's not too bad. Now, normally we would come over here and we would assign a command equal something. So let's come up here and create a command called stuff, right? And what do we want to do? Well, we want to take whatever X that we clicked on and pass it into here as an X. And we want to do something with it, right? Well, normally you would call stuff, but we also want to pass in that X, right? Well, whenever you want to pass things in to a function from a button, which is essentially what this is, in Kinter, you can't just do that. You need to create a lambda. So if we create a lambda, L-A-M-B-D-A, and now I know this looks like a capital L, but it's actually a lowercase, you would think that this would work, but it doesn't, and I'll show you why. So let's come up here, and let's just print X. Or better yet, let's come down here and create a label real quick. So I'm just going to call this my underscore label. This is going to be a TB dot label. We want to put it in root and want the text to equal nothing right now. And then let's my underscore label dot pack this guy and give it a pad Y of like 40 to really push it down the screen. But now let's come up here and let's configure our label. So my underscore label dot config. And we want to set the text equal to X for now, right? So let's run this and see what happens. This is not going to actually work. So here, when we click on primary, boom, it's outline info, which is the last thing. If we click on secondary, boom, it's outline info, which is the last thing. Why? Well, think about it. As this thing is looping, it adds X into our function up here. Well, it does it for primary. Primary gets passed in. Then it does it for secondary. Secondary gets passed in. Danger, info, outline, outline, outline. Until it comes to the very last thing, outline info, it passes it into the function, and then boom, X becomes outline info. Now, we don't want that. It's overriding all the older ones that went in. So how do we change that? Well, super easy. We just come up here and let's inside of here say X equals X. That's all we have to do. That should fix this. So here, I'm going to make a little F string and I'm going to say you selected X. Okay, so let's save this and run it and see if that works. It should. So now when we click this thing, when I click primary, boom, it says you selected primary. When I click info, it says, boom, you selected info. When I select outline danger, boom, you selected outline danger. Now this doesn't update yet. We have to change that, but at least we're passing the right thing. And this is why I don't use a variable with this. Why do we need a, a Kinter variable? We've got the label. We can do things based on that label if we want. We could do any logic we want. So that's just my rant. Finally, we want to change our my underscore menu. We want to dot config it. We want to set the boot style to X. 
So that will change the actual color because when we defined our menu button, we set the boot style to warning. So here we can update that boot style with whatever we clicked on in the button in the drop down. And so that should be fun. So let's run this guy one more time, see if all this worked. So now we click primary, boom, it changes to blue primary, secondary, danger, info. We got the outlines. I like the outlines the best. I think those look pretty good. So outline primary, outline secondary, outline danger, like that one, and outline info. So that's it, that's menu button. Now you can play around with the size of the text and the uh, colors of the background and the foreground and all that using a regular style widget. And I've got videos on style widgets uh, earlier in the playlist. I think the button video we did, we also talked about style. So you can watch that if you wanna change the, the backgrounds of, this, of these things, but uh, yeah, pretty cool and pretty easy. So that's menu button with TTK bootstrap and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter widget quick reference guidebook. This thing is awesome. Over 150 pages with all the Kinter and TTK widget attributes. Grab a free copy today. Head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book. Enter your email address and I'll shoot that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. For the next two days only, you can use coupon code BIRTHDAY. You get $130 off membership. Ooh, don't tell anybody because that's a lot of money off. You can get a complete membership there for just 19 bucks. You get all my courses, all my future courses at no extra charge. It's a one-time fee. It's not monthly. It's not yearly, not annually, not anything. Just one time. Coupon code BIRTHDAY. Check that out for the next two days only. So my name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.